Hey everybody, welcome to our behind the scenes for this week. It is almost June. Can you believe it? What a crazy season it has been. We're just over 10 weeks now being in this season of uh, no in-person meetings. And I, we're going to remember this for a lot of years to come. But I got a few things to let you know about that are happening around our church this week. Some exciting new things that are happening as well. And some things to celebrate what God is doing. So it's pretty cool. Um, we're still doing uh, coffee time every week. Mariana and I do coffee time at 2 p.m. on Facebook Live. So we'd love you to join us for that. There's great conversation there and we do a prayer time there. We're also doing our church office Wednesdays from 1 till 2 p.m. and 7 to 8 p.m. We call it drive through church office. And it's a chance for you to come use a debit machine, stop and say hello. You just stay in your car. You come up to our church's uh, east entrance, our parking lot entrance, and someone will be here to serve you. We do it all with social distancing, sanitary precautions, and so on. So that's available, drive through church office. Uh, we're still doing all our other ministries that we're doing. We have uh, 10 or 15 groups that meet every single week online. Celebrate Recovery, Men's Breakfast. Um, we have uh, youth ministry, young adults ministry, several small groups. We have a Bible class that's going on. So you can check all of those out on our website and on our newsletter. If you can download the church app, you can check it out there as well. But those are all things just to let you know that are continuing on, that our church is continuing to do. Hey, cool thing. One thing we are really growing in and getting better and better at is our online services. We do church online every single Sunday, 9 and 11 a.m. It's live and it's a great chance for you to connect with and be a part of our services. I'd really encourage you, make it a non-negotiable discipline in your life and in your family's life to be a part of our online services. This week in particular, I noticed quite a few people joining in internationally, which is really fun. We had people from Kenya, we had people from Rwanda, we had people from Thailand, uh, we had people uh, just from all over the place, India, joining us in our service online. So super neat to be a part of the body of Christ here in Moose Jaw, but also around the world. Um, one other neat thing you can know about that's different around here is we're actually renovating again. And so we're doing some really cool renovations in our sanctuary right now. And uh, when you get back to being live in our services, uh, you're going to just see things are quite uh, different in there and they're pretty cool in there. So uh, some cool things going on for our foyer renovations. Also, a uh, really neat thing that happened this week. Um, we've been grieving with our snowbirds in, in Moose Jaw and just some of the tough things that are going on uh, with the, the gal passing away there. Been praying for them and expressing our love as a church for them. Well, a few families in our church asked if they could come down to our sidewalk right here on Main Street and uh, put chalk hearts all over our sidewalk. They came and did that. They did a beautiful job. It was a great tribute and a great way to show our love and support for the snowbirds. Well, while they were doing that, uh, CBC came out and filmed it and actually did some interviews with them. And so we were on the news again, church. Uh, so that's very cool. And just uh, again, our church doing things that are acts of love and, and ways of serving. You can do those in the smallest of ways and in, in big ways. Uh, but I just encourage you, continue to be the love of God uh, because you are being the church wherever you are and what you're doing. Hey, a lot of people are starting to ask, when are we getting back to church? When, when is the in-person meeting starting to happen again? And uh, it's the end of May. Um, we're starting to hear about the province reopening in various phases. And actually, they've named places of worship as uh, something that they are going to want to see reintroduced back. And so we're working with the province on uh, figuring out how it will be safe and how to do it in the right ways. And likely, we don't know the dates yet, but likely as we return back to in-person services, we'll phase our way in as well. So in other words, it probably won't just be one Sunday where everybody comes again. Likely, we'll have some Sundays where we have smaller amounts of people, where we're following a number of sanitary precautions. Um, and we'll keep you informed as to how we do that and, and how that exactly works in multiple services and so on. But we're going to make sure that uh, we get back as soon as we can safely do so. We're going to try not to be in a big hurry to do it. We're going to try to do it right. And that's just been the way our church has tried to operate through this whole thing with integrity, with love, uh, with a heart that's both for people and to continue to be a witness and a ministry in our city. So keep an eye out for news as to when we're getting back. Uh, it should be relatively soon. We don't know exactly what the first few weeks will look like yet, but we will certainly keep you informed. 
Uh, thanks everybody for being supportive, for praying, for staying connected. Uh, many of you have been getting care calls this week. We put out hundreds of care calls this week, just letting people know we love them, letting you know that we care for you, that we're praying for you. That's been special. Thank you also for sending in your prayer requests. We love hearing prayer requests. It's a great chance for us to pray. We've been getting quite a few of those in again lately. So you can send those to connect at victorymj.com and we'd love that. Anyway, God bless you all. Thanks for checking out Behind the Scenes this week, knowing what's going on around Victory this week. God bless.